Hello, my name is Vlad Stoyanovsky. In this video, we will see how IBM Cognos takes advantage of big insights with big SQL and also DB2 with blue acceleration for lightning fast access to Hadoop and big data. This is a diagram of what we will be demonstrating today. On the back end, we have two data sources. In the upper right, we have sales plan data in a DB2 database with blue acceleration. Below, we have an IBM Infosphere Big Insights instance, which combines the power of Hadoop with enterprise-grade features. There's also a set of aggregate data in DB2 Blue Acceleration for speed of analysis, which sits on top of Big Insights. In the middle, we have Cognos Dynamic Cubes, one for planned data and one for actual data. Cognos Dynamic Cubes are an in-memory OLAP technology, providing for fast and intuitive analysis. You will note that the Cognos Dynamic Cubes use SQL to query DB2 Blue. They also use Understandable and optimize Big SQL to obtain data from Big Insights. The combined virtual cube provides a seamless and intuitive view into multiple data sources for the end user. Finally, we have Cognos dashboards and reports on top of the Dynamic Cubes. With that, we will begin our demonstration. This is a Cognos workspace with some typical dashboards objects. In the top left, we have a revenue trend by product chart. Below that, we have a map of the world with gross profit by country. As we hover over a country, we get a pop-up with a value for that country. To the right of the map, we have a year checkbox filter, as well as a slider. At the top right, there's a cross tab with revenue by product and year. Right away, Cognos is alerting us that we have missed plan for camping equipment in 2013 by a wide margin. We also see there is a comment as shown by the red triangle. We hover over it to see the comment. The comment confirms that sales for camping equipment have missed the planned numbers. Let's go ahead and click on it and drill to the next level of detail. Here we've gone from product category to product. You notice how fast that was. That is because there is a Cognos Dynamic Cube sitting on top of DB2 Blue. Here we know that two product lines in particular are a cause for concern, specifically cooking gear and packs. Next, we'll click on cooking gear and get to more granular level of detail to find what is driving our missed targets. Now the query is taking longer. This is because the next level of detail, the product category, is not in an aggregate table. Rather, it is in Big Insights. So Cognos is now querying Big Insights using Big SQL. The good news is that once the result set and the associated metadata come back, they will be cached in the Cognos Dynamic Cube. This will speed up similar future requests. At this point, we're looking at data that was retrieved from Big Insights and we find that specific product categories have missed their plan in 2013. Now, if we drill back up and come back down, the same request will come back much faster because it will be cached for me as well as other users in the Cognos Dynamic Cube. So we'll go ahead and right click and drill up. And again, if we drill back down to the level of detail that exists in Big Insights, the query comes back very, very quickly. Now, let's recap what happened behind the scenes as we interacted in the role of a business user using the Cognos workspace. First, an SQL query was used to display the cross tab using aggregate data from DB2 Blue. So the request flew from Cognos through the dynamic cubes and into this aggregate data. Next, a second SQL query gave us the next level of detail as we drilled from product line to products. Again, that data was in an aggregate format in Blue Acceleration, so that came back very, very quickly. The third query was a big SQL query. This is because as we drill down further into products, and Cognos had to go to Big Insights to get the data. As it was not pre-aggregated, it took longer. However, as shown in this fourth query, subsequent users will experience better performance as the Cognos Dynamic Cube has built an in-memory OLAP cube with the previous queries. So rather than being SQL, this query is 
is an MDX because this data is now retrieved from the dynamic cube itself. In this short presentation, we saw how IBM Cognos takes advantage of big insights with big SQL and also DB2 with blue acceleration for lightning fast access to enterprise grade Hadoop and big data. Before I close, I would like to give a special shout out to my colleague Vlanir Da Silva. Vlanir is in our business analytics North America technical experts team and put together the pieces needed for this demonstration. With that, thank you for watching.